Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, today what I'm going to be bringing you is some information that I've been finding online and this is information that just recently has been launching updates on this product that's going to be coming out and what I'm about to talk about is purely uh, speculation. Okay, so anyway, we all know that the Taurus PT-809 has been out for quite a while. Um, it's one of those pistols that's popular with uh, budget-minded shooters. You're getting yourself basically a full-size 9mm. Well, it looks like there's a new one coming out. Um, it's the They call it the Pistola Striker or the TS or the Taurus Striker pistol. Um, it almost looks like a, like a PT-809 Gen 2, if you will. And what I want to do is just talk about some of the basic features we can look forward to on this pistol. Now, my Portuguese is not that good, so I really can't tell you anything about an MSRP. In fact, I've had to dig around in the specs a little bit to try to figure out uh, capacity and so on. But uh, one thing about this that tells me it's going to be coming to the uh, U.S. market is the fact that it is being made in 9mm, and in the Brazilian market, uh, from what I've seen, 9mm basically is out outlawed for civilians, uh, 380 or smaller is all that's allowed. They've got some fairly restrictive gun laws in uh, Brazil. So what we're going to do is just take a look at some of the basic features of the TS pistol. And one of the reasons why I'm pretty sure this is going to come to the U.S. is, for one thing, the PT-809 has been out for quite a while, and I could see Taurus possibly replacing that model. Now, there's also the TH series, which is a hammer-fired version of the TS, so I don't know if we're going to get both versions of it. I mean, there are some guns that are unique to other markets other than the U.S. market, so it's hard telling, but I would imagine the TS is going to be heading our way. So for starters, we've got the common replaceable back straps, which you see in uh, many of the pistols that are out there. Okay, we've also got the Picatinny rail, you know, the full-size frame. Now, there's a few features coming up here. Okay, night strikes, not or night strikes, uh, night sights. Wow, um, but yeah, that definitely is something I could see coming for the market, possibly as an option or an upgrade. Now, I don't know if those sights are going to be polymer, if they're going to be metal. Uh, again, you know, they're they're definitely marketing it towards the the duty area. I'm sure that back in the home market in Brazil, this may be one of the carry guns from uh, th that their officers carry or the military. Okay, very simple deconstruction, you know, almost Glock-esque in its components. And if we look at the frame, obviously full-size frame, 18 plus 1 capacity is what I've seen so far, which is pretty common with a lot of the, the pistols that are out there right now. I mean, Taurus would be stupid not to introduce a full-size striker fired, especially around the time of SHOT Show this year. If we just look at the popularity of a lot of the uh, striker fired full-size pistols that have come out from a lot of the major manufacturers. Now, one feature I'm pretty sure we won't see here, if we do, it would be fairly rare, is this uh, dual safety. You've got your trigger safety, and then you've also got this safety right here. It's I don't know if it's like a maybe a decocking mechanism. At first, I thought maybe it was a paddle release for the magazines, but I, I maybe have to flick that down, and then after that, you can actuate the trigger if you need to. Um, I can see that not making it into the U.S. production models, unless it's going to come across, but I highly doubt it, because uh, most of us buy these striker fire pistols because we want to stay away from the safety. Um, again, the design, very streamlined, very straightforward. Okay, it looks like we've got uh, ambidextrous uh, slide releases as well as magazine releases. Uh, the pointless loading cock loading indicator up on the top. Again, a design that uh, seems fairly streamlined and smooth. Uh, but so as you can see, guys, the, the market that they're definitely going to be pushing for, I can see this uh, coming our way. MSRP on this, I have no idea. I've been trying to find information on it. There's not a lot out there. I'm going to say, oh, $349.99 just because it would keep it within line with, like, say, the Walther Creed or the Remington 9E or, you know, definitely it's going to be cheaper than those M&P series pistols because the Taurus price point tends to be a lot lower. Uh, design's really not that bad. You know, they're definitely going for just a simple design. Looks like a fairly uh, robust, uh, heavy-duty design, something that can handle up to the... Uh, the uh, the tour of doing what it needs to do and they also market it with the simplicity and parts and maintenance so maybe they're pushing this on their own law enforcement departments back home so there we go guys that's what I know about the Taurus uh, TS pistol I'm gonna call it the PT 809 Gen 2 or Gen 3 now again like I said this is all speculation um, I'm gonna try to bring you more details as I find out the details on it um, the only thing that's a little bit tough is the fact that I don't speak Portuguese and I do speak Spanish but uh, with the Portuguese I'm trying to pick up the details but I don't know a lot of the technical vocab especially for pistol parts but otherwise guys that is it I want to thank you for joining me today um, hopefully more information will come out on this pistol as time goes on but uh, otherwise guys I want you to uh, have fun I want you to be safe uh, please like or subscribe to the channel and you know we will talk to you soon all right guys take care bye bye